What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Clutch Cinema Talk. We got another movie review. First one of 2024. Yeah, yo, listen. Things are a little bit different. I didn't get, I did not get to do a skit for this. I have like a little update about how movie reviews are gonna work on this channel. But the the, the plan is that we're, we're gonna try and do one every week, and it's most hopefully gonna end up being on Saturdays. This is not on a Saturday because it's a little bit late. But 2024, we're gonna be doing a lot more reviews. Maybe a little bit less skits for the reviews, but just to get those reviews out because I've been slacking like on a lot, a lot of reviews. So this is the first review of 2024, but it's not from 2024. It's Anyone But You, which came out at the end of 2023. And there are no spoilers in this review, so don't even have to worry about it. If you're really, really fiending to go watch the movie and haven't seen it and you're like, please don't spoil it. There's no spoilers. Don't you even worry about that. Leave a like, leave a comment and make sure you subscribe for more movie reviews. Let's do this thing. Anyone but you, <laughs> I, I saw this trailer reaction. If you want to see me like react to the trailer, it's right here. And I was like, yo, I, I'm not really like a rom-com. I'm not, I don't know too many rom-coms. Not that I'm not a rom-com kind of guy. This had Sydney Sweeney, Glenn Powell, and it was like about, what, what was what, what was it about? Help me. There's no one over there. I, it just make, I just make it look like this. So maybe like I have a crew. Like Sydney Sweeney and like Glenn Powell, like they, they had a thing one night. And now they're going to a wedding and they didn't know that their friends were like mutual. So at the wedding, they have like a lot of tension, but they want to start pretending that they are together. That way, Sydney Sweeney could get rid of this guy that she knew and that Glenn Powell could uh, make this other girl that he likes jealous. And so they're in like a fake type of relationship. Am I spoiling if they fell in love or not? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not going to tell you. You watch them for yourself and... You watch it for yourself. What did I think about it? That's a great question, viewers. What did I think about it? I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought. It, I, thought it, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. To me, it felt like a very straightforward uh, rom com. It did feel a little bit more modernized, but it felt very familiar within that that field and look at me who, who do, what do i know about rom-coms but it does feel like you could blend this into like an early 2000s type rom-com situation where, where like you, you could watch like 10 of these in a row and you throw that one in there and it'd be pretty much more or less the same there's it, it was pretty straightforward there was maybe i don't know if there was a lot of twists and turns but you could really see the end of the tunnel you can see where things are really going it has everything that a rom-com would have you know it has uh, attractive leads it has uh, a ridiculous situations that they get thrown into it's good humor that there was a lot of good humor there's a lot of laugh out loud uh moments throughout the film you don't really get too much dive into secondary characters they're more they were there with like a very basic like archetype what they that they serve that purpose for the film it was really just about sydney sweeney glenn powell's characters who i think i think they did a good job i think they had a pretty good decent uh i think they had a decent a de decent decent chemistry i don't know if it was 1000 percent the best but i think it was decent chemistry to just make it feel a little bit believable at least a little bit believable for the, the duration of the movie but it never felt like it was dragging it, it was entertainable enough that you could watch it to the end and still be happy with the result i gave it what's this right here three and a half stars on letterbox that's not bad that's not bad that's pretty high considering if you see the rest of my uh list from 2023 where that is Speaking about lists, if you haven't seen my top 10 movies of 2023, go check that out right now. Anyone but you is not on that list. I'll just spoil that for you right now. But if you want to go watch that, definitely go watch that. So those of you who have seen it, let me know down below what you thought about Anyone But You. Where does it rank among your rom-com movies? Tell me. I'm, I'm not the rom-com expert. If you are, you tell me. Was it good? Was it trash? I don't know. I, I had a good time. I, I, had a, I had a good time. Does it have to do with who I want to see the movie with? No, but you know. It was it was it, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. And one but you was was decent. It was decent. Three and a half is three and a half is not bad. Let me know what you guys think about this film. I don't even have like a follow up to this. I'm 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 not used to these rom coms like just one off and alone. But yo, if you like this movie, let me know down below what you thought about it. Leave a like, comment about it. Let's talk about it, and subscribe for more movie reviews on Clutch Cinema Talk with your boy, KC. And hey, I will see you guys in the next review. So, deuces. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Here it goes.